Good afternoon, I'm Suzanne Verdi. I'm a journalist and award-winning television news presenter. I love the buzz of working in one of the most high-profile, high-pressure roles there is. What detail did you get from this judge, Suzanne? Mr Justice Green rejected all the claims made by the junior doctors campaign group Justice for Health. They had said that the contract was being imposed unlawfully. They, they believed it was unsafe and unsustainable. But it's not just news presenting. I've hosted live TV debates. I pride myself on being able to turn my hand to anything, holding politicians to account. It's pretty strong stuff, Prime Minister. They should all be out talking about all MPs. They're a disgrace to our nation. She pretty much sums up what most voters are thinking right now, I think. Well, well I, I understand the sentiment. You talk about confidence in JLR, but they've been asking for help from you since October 2008. You didn't have much confidence in them. Well, I think it just goes to show that we would have been wrong to respond in October in handing out taxpayers' money when in the final analysis they didn't need it. It's been a long uh, 10 months for them, though, hasn't it? A long 10 months when they may have had to shed more jobs. They were warning that they may have to do that. And indeed, and they knew fully well. To entertainment. This is a bit of a crazy film because you play a talking corpse. Yes. I didn't know there was such a thing. And yeah. he has a few bodily function issues, doesn't he? Just yes. To put it politely. Yeah, to put it politely. He, he is sort of, he's like, a, we've started calling him a magical dead guy. Keanu, if we could just grab you. It's, uh, please join us on, on ITV London. Um, lovely to have you here. I think you've been stuck in a bit of traffic. And documentaries. I grew up in multicultural Birmingham, the proud daughter of a white mum and Sikh dad. Half my family are Sikh so I hear about what's going on in that community. And there's something that's got everybody talking. You come to meet an underage Sikh girl. Sorry, sorry. come to meet an underage Sikh girl. A Sikh community group has begun hunting down suspected abusers. The disgusting paedophiles. And it claims the alleged abuse is racially motivated. And of course, holding the show together in the studio. Football and in the past few minutes there's been trouble in Birmingham's derby with Aston Villa. A fan has run onto the pitch and thrown a punch at one of the players. The final results are still coming in but the Conservatives are today counting the cost of a local election which was the party's worst showing in 24 years. Well our political correspondent Romley Weeks is here now so Romley two days until that big vote. What are you hearing this lunchtime? My passion is sharing the important stories something I'd now like to work with you on. Until then, bye-bye.